Hi guys, what's up? So um, this is just a random video where I talk about random things and if you fancy just some company while well, you do your makeup too or you do your bed or whatever you're doing at the moment um, and makeup talk, this is the video for you. So keep watching. All right, so you guys, uh, I may look, look very strange. The framing may look very strange. It's just because I'm using the uh, front camera of my phone to uh, film this. Just because, you know, this is meant to be a uh, get back into the world video. Um, as as you probably know, if you follow me on Instagram, I've had COVID for two weeks. And so this is the first time I'm doing my makeup and I'm filming ever since. Actually, I haven't filmed in like a month, um, long content, so whatever. Anyway, um, this will be a chit chat. So the first thing I am going to do is apply this uh, illuminating cream primer, let's say, from Bruna Tavares. Um, this is a Brazilian makeup brand and it's unfortunately for the moment only available in Brazil. Um, but it's it's a very good one. Maybe. And I love this. I love this for my rosacea. It's uh, super golden. It is super emollient and golden and glowy and uh, it just leaves a very good finish on my skin. I think it helps blurring my um, rosacea a little bit as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I'm so good at you guys. So, so good at um, because Brazilian beauty is so good. You wouldn't believe how good it is, but it's only available in Brazil. So every time I want something from Brazilian makeup lines, I have to wait until some of my friends uh, go to Brazil. Um, I think I'm gonna do something like my invisible makeup tutorial, which if you haven't watched it yet, you will find right here. I'll apply a liquid bronzer because I lost all of my tan as well. Thank you, COVID, and not going outside for two weeks. Became a vampire, I think. And I'm just gonna apply this, my temples, slightly pressing. <sighs> anyway, my experience of COVID. Okay, so um, after two years and a half of basically avoiding it like a ninja, like a true ninja, um, I got it too. And it was hell. Quite honestly, it was hell for me. Um, I don't know. I don't know if any of you have had the same experience, but and it felt like shattered glass. Um, on my in my throat, so I really didn't appreciate that. Um, high fever and all. I bronzed up pretty well, I think. And now the second step in this routine, yeah, it was applying blush. And um, today I'm going to use a cheek tint by uh, Jillian Dempsey. This is in the color Sunny, a clean, a, a clean beauty product. So. Um, organic so i'm gonna um warm it up with my fingers and i wanted to say that during my covid period i had the time to catch up with my series and i don't know if you guys watch only murders in the building but i am in love with that uh series um I just find I just find Selena Gomez so appealing as a character, but I also love the fact that uh, the other two main characters are um, older, you know, um, and yeah, I just love everything, you know, this uh, crime, true crime thing uh, going on in the series, and the fact that it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's still very entertaining. I just yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna apply it a little bit here as well where my um, eyeglasses <laughs> mark is. Yeah, yes, yes, now I look sunburned. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna use their Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer mixed in with uh, my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Yeah, 
I'm going to start dotting it around. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Still feels weird. I really have to learn how to master this technique because when I filmed the tutorial, I was actually following uh, Chloe Morales tutorial. So yeah, of course it was easier for me. But tell me something, you guys. I mean, obviously you're here watching this. It means that you still um, watch YouTube on a regular basis. Um, but tell me something. Um, what do you prefer these days? Do you prefer to watch um, tutorials or makeup content, skincare content on YouTube? Um, are you still into Instagram or are you watching videos on TikTok only? I just want to know because I really want to focus my effort and know that um, <clears throat> I am a social media manager. Uh, working in the beauty industry also, so uh, this is my passion and my job all at once. And yeah, I really want to understand. Personally, I prefer YouTube and TikTok these days just because the content is more authentic. I think I get more value out of it and um, I don't know, I feel like Instagram has become really 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 tiring for me um i don't know if this is a common experience so i'm mixing in also two concealers but yeah as i said i i'm kind of fed up and over um instagram to be honest i don't think it's given me any more joy and it's such a pity because i have a community in there a uh, community that is deeply interested in rosacea um, and it's really hard to transfer your community from one place to the other sometimes people are not so receptive because they just don't like the other platform you know they're in one platform for a reason but yeah it's just everything looks like an ad at the moment the the whole interface doesn't doesn't really uh make it easy for you to engage with content it's just i think it, it's it changed a little bit the way that you consume content um you just scroll and watch whatever there is without even caring who who is there who's done the piece of content I think this works, you know, it's very subtle. If you know me, um, you know I'm a fan of blush, so I may add a little bit of this. Uh... Oh. 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 My heart burns. <laughs> Cheek to shake the climax. Um, this is a blush that i bought because i was looking for a very very long while into something that could resemble a very old jlo blush that i had yes yes uh, if you're old like me, like almost 40, you know that JLo had, well, she didn't have a makeup line. She had a perfume called uh, Glow. And um, I think when it first came out, uh, they sold it with a, like a glowy pack where you had um, a little double eyeshadow, like this size, no, maybe smaller. And um, yeah, they were just very bronzy shades. Uh, one one very light and one a little bit darker. And then there was this blush and this, I, I wouldn't even call it terracotta, but it wasn't, it was halfway between bronze, terracotta and uh, orange and it was shimmery and it was just the best thing ever. And I have, it was made by Lancaster. I remember this, I remember this. It was made by Lancaster. I have never ever found a blush color like that in my life anymore. And I think the closest thing to that could be this 
um, Chic to Chic by Charlotte Tilbury and the Climax, which is really like a bronze goddess shade. <sighs> I was browsing the internet yesterday and I saw that um, Urban Decay came out with a new palette, the Half-Baked Palette. And I thought, damn, Urban Decay is a brand that used to be so exciting, like back in um, 2009, 10, 11, um, they, had, they had these crazy colorful palettes, um, big palettes, sometimes too big, a lot of cardboard. And yeah, the packaging was a little bit weird. I will insert a photo so you would understand. Um, I remember going to London in uh, 2010, I think, and uh, Urban Decay was not sold in Italy where I used to live at that time, and uh, it was sold in Boots in, in the UK, and I bought this Book of Shadow number no. 2 palette. It was so exciting with neutrals, but also a lot of unexpected shades. They used to have this visual with a lot of crazy colors, and then they came out with the, the Naked palette. The first one was... Mwah, I loved it. I truly loved it. But then after that, everything after that was a Naked palette. Oh, okay, so I'm taking the bronze shade and then... A little bit of the uh, lighter shade and just doing this da, 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 da. just looking seamlessly I don't like to place my blush right here I think it really doesn't suit my face shape everyone is doing that at the moment but um, I think blush placement shouldn't be a trend it should only be something that you feel more comfortable with depending on your face shape and Actually, I feel most of makeup techniques are like that. But yeah, I was saying that Urban Decay became boring as hell. Yeah, I'm applying the um, Guerlain Meteorites. These ones are the darkest ones. Yeah, Doré. Doré? Golden. They look like this. I have a meteorite shade for all seasons. That's how much I love this. Yeah, and I think it makes a difference. As you can see, I'm all candlelit now. I really want to ask you guys, which brand do you think has become boring over the years? Like a brand that was all the rage before and it suddenly went boring. And to me, unfortunately, I have to say Urban Decay is one of them. Um, eyeliner from Linia Maria Nasaji. This is also something Brazilian. Again, I told you Brazilian beauty is so good. It's called Eyeliner Pen and I don't remember if this is like the real rose shade or what, but it's a pink shade. Pink eyeliner. Let me grab the palette. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do though, it's something that I've seen from my colleague uh, using this palette from Essence. This is the Make Beauty Fun palette. I think I'm gonna dip it into the two pink shades and I'm gonna do something like this, keeping it really um, only in the first half uh, of my eye. Let me look here because I am blind, you guys. I think it's this is a pretty cute way to incorporate more vivid colors, um, but in a very wearable way. And I think that's my makeup identity, incorporating colors in a wearable way. Because I don't like it when makeup is unwearable. See? I think it's pretty cute. And then I'm going to go in with the eyeliner and trace trace a very subtle line Ta -da. Very subtle line. and the eyeliner itself I, th I find it pretty subtle so now the challenge do it on the other eye uh, now i'm gonna use my beloved lash princess actually my favorite one is the green one but um yeah i still need to finish this and these these you guys they are 
well not only are they good but they last forever forever it's like the the best value for the money um that you could have i'm so random in this video <laughs> take me as it is as your best friend video calling you that's that's what i like to think about youtube to be honest i think now it's time for the second coat <laughs> Brand I would love to try just because I feel deeply influenced by um, Chloe Jade, Chloe Jade story, something like that on TikTok, is Pearl Beauty. I'm saying all of this and then I work for two beauty brands, so what's up with me? I don't know, I don't know, I'm just a makeup fiend, like, yeah, what can I say? And then I think I want to go towards NARS again. I like some NARS foundation. I have a review in here of a great foundation for rosacea. I also wanted to try their um, their new light reflecting one. I think I'm done. I mean, I find this way of uh, wearing colorful eyeshadow very subtle and cute, to be honest. MAC World, because this is my go-to. I love it. <laughs> you can see that it's my go-to. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get this one, uh, the Drunken Diamonds uh, Lip Balm from Catrice. Well, I have a video on TikTok where you can see these better because now it's a little bit, uh, but it's a glittery um, makeup, uh, it's, it's a glittery lip balm. So I always overline my lips a little bit, but just because um, I think my the pigmentation in my lips stops before my actual contour of my lips. And so there's a part that it's like skin colored, but it's still my contour. I love doing that and at the beginning of my makeup journey, let's say, I never used to use lip liners. I don't know why. It's something that I've started using, let's say, relatively recently and yeah, it's been giving me so much joy. Told you it's very, very, very subtle. I think it looks and works very well with my blush. And yeah, I think you guys, uh, this look is uh, finally finished. It was just, it was just about doing some makeup, having some fun with you guys. Um, I hope you appreciate this randomness. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know if you want um, any more of this chit chat video tutorials and uh, let me know what you want to talk about in the comments. And obviously, of course, I invite you to watch my latest videos here and here. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, stay safe, stay beautiful. Ciao!